bro. What happened? <laughs> he has my Kingdom Hearts. I was like, Nicola, can I have this copy of Kingdom Hearts? He was like, whoa, bro, it's yeah. picked up my pre-order today. Alrighty, there's the Sheik. Uh, Charlie, I saw he was playing Sheik earlier. I feel like he's uh, kind of figured out how to play the character uh, compared to comparatively to Smash 4. Of course, she has a lot of similar things uh, compared to the Smash 4 iteration, but you can oh, play her just slightly course, differently. Yeah. The thing about Sheik compared to Smash 4 was, like, Smash 4... It was death by a thousand cuts. This one, it's death by like a million cuts. She has to do a lot here, but Charlie, understanding Sheik from Smash 4, he hasn't given up. I feel like, oh, that was so close to sweep by Charlie. Great DI, still surviving that one. All right, fair. Directional air dodge is going to try, not going to be able to try and get the edge guard. Goes for the downward on the ledge, doesn't quite work out. And wow, Mark going really uh, aggressive over there, trying to get a side B or something. Think about Sheik this patch, is she actually received some buffs. Mm -hmm. Okay, get down there there. Mark though looking more towards at the ledge here. Charlie able to use that up to make a recovery. I like kinda of taking his time at the ledge. Didn't want to give it away because Mark's looking for a punish. Right. Weak Nair into bouncing fish. Yeah, that's still a great confirm to be able to get the kill. And mm -hmm. at the ledge too, if you can catch those spot dodges, those ledge get ups, stuff like that. Wow, actually just spot dodge through uh, the four till chains. Yeah. Doesn't quite work like they did in Smash 4 anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Eventually they can get out. Think about one of the Sheik books that I was mentioning earlier is that Charlie, um, I'm sorry, Sheik now, Forte has a less ending lag. Oh, that Forte, only the first hit, the second hit's gonna be the one that launches you. Yeah, too much uh, knockback maybe. Mm -hmm. So that first hit. Oh, I like that. Recognizing oh. that Mark's trying to fish out that kill very soon yeah. before things get too hairy. Kind of gave it away too because he spot dodged in that situation earlier. Mm -hmm. Alright, finally gonna be able to take out that stock. Still relatively even. Uh, even. Gonna have from Charlie, moves in with the back end, tries to come out with a longer confirm there with the four shells, but Mark for the better here. Gets the grab. Okay, gonna get the down throw. No follow up afterwards. Gonna be able to jump out and let's see what he goes for. Nice forward tilt to up air. Mm -hmm. Usually does like an up air and then tries to get like an either a drag down or just continue after the, the up air uh, launching hit. <laughs> Good spot dodge from Charlie, too. He was able to spot dodge from the grab from Mark. I feel like he kind of has Mark figured out not only because it was a book commentator with me, but the way that Charlie has been seeing how Mark has been playing with Mark and Strip City. He's kind of calling him out for his options. See? Get, jump get at the, the ledge. Mm -hmm, jump at the ledge, get you with an air. Okay, there's a fair. Not quite. Gonna get able to get anything else too. I mean, just in general, Wolf's just a little bit slow. Oh wow, it's that bottom hitbox of the up smash picked them up. Yeah, it's a rising hitbox, so it's strong at the very top of it, but it'll catch you from the sides. So gotta be careful with that one. Yeah, what Charlie is exceeding in the or succeeding in the matchup here is just the immense speed that Sheik's able to pressure with, as opposed to Wolf. He is a little bit clunky out of all of the spaces, so yeah, it's a little bit difficult for Wolf to really get some start in. Surprisingly, not. Oh wow, gets the cross up the I two on that up air, gonna be able to take out that next stock. Surprisingly, not too much blaster uh, coming from Mark, but I feel like it's because he recognizes Sheik has that burst. Okay, well, as soon as I talk about it, he starts. Commentator screws. Yeah, that, man. That's he, never no, nice. he heard me. He heard me. He's coaching. That, that's what those headphones are for. <laughs> Probably talk too loud a little bit. Well, I'll tone your voice down just for a second there, just change it up. Yeah. Okay, but. Hey, just and for fourth throw. Nice. Newly goes for the bouncing fish and shield because he understands Mark could have gone on that fourth match there. No oh, random yeah. smash attacks are going to catch Charlie today. Down at the ledge one more time, but yeah. Oh, that was so close, and Charlie was great. Day. Able to survive the sweet spot from the side B. That's one of the hard things about committing to um, to an attack at the ledge before they get up is because um, you can easily get intercepted by like a drop down into a jump aerial. Yeah. Wolf has a very strong fair to be able to follow up into a side B like that. That's really scary to think oh. about. Another cross up DI up air. Nice. One Good more back, back air. air. No jump. Take him out. Punish, and I Forward like smash. it too. That's the thing about side B, the distance wasn't that great there for Marks, but not only that, he wouldn't auto snap the ledge. So Charlie would have still probably looked for a punch afterwards. And he knew that he had Marks so far off to the sides that either Mark had to go for an option, like an up B, or the side B. And Charlie was very keen to catch that. Either going for a nair if he was going to go for the side B, or probably afterwards from the side, um, from the up B. I'm so sorry, that was different. Yeah. All right, moving on to uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Again. <laughs> Not gonna lie, um, it's a, it's a classic stage from the Brawl days. Now that we have it back, um, with no transformations, it's pretty good. Okay, next game for Charlie though has one O over Mark in winner semis. 
course, Winter Semis is best of three, but we'll see what Charlie can do here. Best of five. Best of five, sorry. Yeah. Best of five, Winter Semis. You have to win three, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Don't worry. Uh, down throw into the fair. I like that he hesitated a little bit. He knew that Mark usually likes to try and press a button to get out of disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So he waited and spaced himself on that platform to try to get around it. Oh, sweet. Speaking of spacing himself, he spaced himself around Mark there because he was trying to move in towards center stage. I like the option from Charlie. Look at this punish each time Mark comes back from the ledge. Charlie is there ready for a punish. Space himself right there. Understood the spot, the spot dodge. Every time that's been going up for Charlie, Mark is looking for a spot dodge, and Charlie knows that. He's like, you want a spot dodge? Fine, get the punish afterwards. I just space myself and go for a different aerial. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sheik with her fast fall nature and uh, her speed, just able to pressure to make him think you're going to do an option, and then mm -hmm. immediately go around with another option. The slower, clunky characters can't do that. That's what she excels oh, at. And you know what? She also excels so at nice conversions like that. Game to get another bouncing fish, get the stock there. Uh, this is Charlie where he wants to be, man. Prime form back with Sheik, feeling it like it was Smash more. Oh, great. The, I, I want to say the low profile, uh, roll, um, low profile might have happened out there, but the shield as well was out. All right, I like that. Just shielding. He just knows that after a spot dodge, it's going to be a smash back. So yeah, just uh, be a little bit safer there. That's kind of been the... So far, it's Mark's first tournament to my knowledge. But this is looking like the Mark classic that Charlie's already figured out. Like, okay, I know what you're going for. You're going for the classic moves off a spot dodge. And then uh, you can see, uh, of course, uh, Grab's not as strong in this game anymore, but you'll notice that like a lot of characters where their combos are <gasps> relatively the same, they like to do things like <laughs> run up a uh, forward tilt and stuff like that instead. Wow, picked them up with the side beat, got the up smash afterwards. Yeah, Charlie's not even faced with that, kind of accepting the fact that, okay, that one got me, but let's come back to it. The whole game is still waiting for me here. Over there, I like it, reads the high jump option that Mark would have been going for. This option for the ledge, yeah, he just knew that he was greedy for that jump fair. Another one there, but Charlie not able to find the punish there. Yeah, he tried to find a mix-up now that he got called out for it, but mm. uh, Mark was like, no, I don't care, man. I'm just going to go for it again. Oh, ah, I like it too, but unfortunately a little bit too far away. Mm -hmm. Try to find the roll read. It didn't quite work out there. Ooh, Charlie's starting to throw out some hitboxes, and well, he's a sitting duck once he throws out that Nair, and Mark being a little bit more patient, intercepting them instead. That time he didn't get caught, and I like it. He doesn't try to reversal the uh, situation. He just uh, jumps backwards, tries to get a different type of conversion. Gonna get caught off stage here. Still not gonna get uh, oh, edge from Charlie. Good patience there. Down tilt to up air. Charlie bringing up 2-1. Mark not too far behind at 101, 102%. Of course, we know how Wolf can bring up a percent and get kills here. So hopefully he can just hold on for a second and avoid any percent here. Gets that forward there. Mark looking for the opportunity to take the stock from Charlie while taking too much damage. But as I say that, 50% to the name and yeah. onward. I like that using that instant dash into a forward to be able to extend that combo after that fair instead of going for like a grab or like another jump fair instead. Mm -hmm. Catching him on the ground, wow! Uh, air to air and he beats him out with the up air. It's gonna work out for him. And every time, uh, Charlie's been looking for like a tech roll in or something like that after uh, a call and be able to extend the combo, but it just doesn't work. See, Mark's just uh, content to just stay in place, throw out an attack instead. Been actually getting him out of a lot of different combos, but still 113% is a little bit scary. Like one good nair to bouncing fish. Yeah. Charlie lands in there. Oh, a down smash. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. He's looking for tech roll in, but he's not getting them. <laughs> like he wants it to happen. He's like, I, you know, you're at a high percent. You should be tech rolling in. Yeah. But he, he's just not giving it to him. But I think it's really smart from Mark as well. Charlie probably feels like he might have conditioned him to go for the tech roll in because he's been reading the spot dodges as well. Right. Still relatively even game. I mean, this is Wolf we're talking about. Very strong character. Doesn't even... Okay, that time. Tries to find the right option. Uh, but Mark's able to mix it up just fine. Okay. Mm. Needles and the Bouncing Fish. Classic Sheik here from Charlie. Moving up 20 to no handshake. This is, will be a best of five for Charlie. And Charlie putting in a great showcase with Sheik. Mm -hmm. I like what he did there. He wasn't sure if the Bouncing Fish would be able to reach. Got a Nair. Got the needles after, got the bouncing fish, still got able to confirm the kill. And again, Mark, it's just a little bit too antsy on trying to get the kill. He wants to get that reversal. He's throwing out those forward smashes, those down smashes, and those up smashes. Basically flicking the C-stick every time, trying to find a kill. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult for Wolf. Uh, I mean, from what I've seen, it's hard to get kind of a, like the, those setup kills, yeah. those high percents. I don't know. I don't even know if he has any, just based on how Mark's been throwing out smash attacks like that. Yeah, the, the base damage and the knock that you seem to be doing, looking at the frame data of Ixi Kuro for always keeping us updated at his website. Definitely go check it out if you're looking for more information. The knockback seems to really favor those early mid percents, and then later percents, there'll just be more of a kill options there. So, 
we'll see how Mark can make an adaptation looking at different characters he might, might have been practicing. Gonna go for the Shulk. Charlie nods his head, says, all right, you wanna go Shulk? A little bit familiar, fighting Nico several years over at Fire and Dice. See how things will go for Mark out on Game 3. Charlie at set point. This is Mark's last opportunity here to continue on on the winner's side. All right, fair fair chain into down throw. Boy, yeah, and then Sheik Fair buff coming in for work. Dude, that was good end lag there. Fair to the original uh, patch. Mark uh, recognized the strong characters early on and is uh, playing them out right now. I like how Charlie is playing like he's trying to feel out Mark in the neutral here. Goes for his forward tilt, runs around, looks to see what Mark is going to do for a landing option or come back from the ledge. Mm -hmm. Well, he knows it's that uh, ni uh, or Nico. I, I, he's using even Nico's color too. Yeah. Getting thrown off here. But anyways, he knows um, that Shulk has some really great range to be able to reversal stuff. That's why he's like dashing back around it, yeah. trying to play around his space because Mark definitely likes to push buttons to try and get out disadvantage and that forward smash to take out that first stock. Yeah, Charlie not even phased by it, still going back to Lemons with Sheik. Nice good spot dodge, forward tilt to Alvin, Jen the drag down, oh my god, Charlie with a clean combo here, bringing it back to what looks like Smash 4 Sheik. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pretty much have to do those, uh, Speak of the devil. those drag downs at the peak of your jump and then uh, bring them down, so you have to be confident in the timing and that they're not, that they are going to hit by that, not going to get hit by like an air dodge or something like that. Nice forward tilt, missing the grab there, but Mark able to fade back away towards the ledge, gets that forward there. Mark's looking for a Manano there, but unfortunately probably the Manano was already burnt out there. Charlie using this advantage of the fact that Mark is stuck in busting Manano. It's going to be do or die for Mark here. Still getting that damage with those forward tilts. I mean, he's been able to beat out Nico in uh, boxing situations. I think that's why he likes using Sheik is because uh, Shulk, he has a little bit of startup on his uh, all of his moves. Yeah. And, and like, not, as, not, not too bad, especially for a sword character, but the startup is usually where you find that uh, weakness. So being able to beat him out in boxing and air-to-air is, is really uh, vital against fighting Shulk. Charging needles there. Like feeds back going to where there. Almost gets the forward tilt. There's a grab for Mark. Edge phase and that down smash wasn't gonna do it there, and he holds back for the for the read there from Forge Smash. I find it. Doing, doing well here in the neutral, just trying to respect Mark, like he said earlier. The range that he understands how Shulk works, but there's a smash model. Mark sees blood in the water, definitely trying to take it out here. If we can get the stock off of Charlie, definitely Mentor would be more in his favor. Well, I guess it clipped by that air slash. It looked like he was trying to go for like a back air to get a stage bike or something. Oh wow, what a Wait right there. I, I, he had no idea what he was yeah. going to go for, but it just happened to be lucky that he went for the counter. I have no idea why Charlie would have thought he would have countered, only because like, he did not do that at all the entire it's, set. It's what we've been seeing at the ledge. Charlie has been bringing up Mark towards the ledge, and he waits. He wants to see his reaction, what he's going to do. He wants to read the roll in, the get up option, the jump option. And at that situation, that's why Charlie's still there. He's like, what, do you, what are you going to do? Let me know so I can find the punch afterwards. At that point, Mark went for the, the counter there, not able to find much there, and Charlie got the punch better instead. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's been putting himself in a good position just right outside of the range to get up attack, and enough for a drop down to jump fair. Maybe he'll be able to react to that, so he forces mm -hmm. out a different option instead of a neutral get up, and then forces in the shield and try to pick something else afterwards. That's a whole different game. But of course, yeah, doing a really great job of just maintaining this lead. 109 damage. Using those needles to check a little bit more percent. Intercepted him there. That's the directional air dodge. That's going to be it. Yep, they're doing a handshake coming up for Charlie. Moving on to winner's finals against CS Mark. Alrighty. I think I got time for... No, you're saying the actually, whole time. No, actually, no, I don't think so. Yeah, Alrighty, yeah, I'm going to go no, home no, 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 because no. I got to no, work no, tomorrow. No, 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 no,